Hello and welcome back everybody. Uh, I want to keep you up to date on what's going on with our Creedmoor versus Creedmoor series. We've actually uh, was able to uh, get the Savage broke in with that 6mm Creedmoor. Uh, it went pretty nice. I mean I, I kind of expected it to go that nice because I know that's probably a hand lap barrel in there. Uh, but it took 8 rounds to uh, stop pulling copper. And as everybody knows I shoot once, clean once. Um, then I, after the eight rounds and it stopped, I stopped getting signs on the patches of copper. Uh, we shot a three round burst through it, cleaned it again, no signs of copper. So I think we're pretty good to go with that. We'll probably end up firing, uh, firing some more rounds through there, just kind of get the gun settled in a little bit. But I do have some uh, loads loaded up for it. Uh, so we're gonna actually uh, pull a ladder test on that thing. See if we can find a uh, our powder, powder node there. Uh, so we can start loading into that and then I'm about to start loading for the uh, for the Bergera. I still don't have a uh, scope rail. We're waiting on a scope rail for that. i uh, also going to put a 20 millimeter or 20 MOA rail on that thing. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you uh, the process with this uh, our little hand hand loading with our K&M tool and and our Wilson die set to show you uh, where I was going to when I wanted to purchase this thing so uh, stick around and let's see what what we got there and I, first of all I'm gonna show you what's actually in this die set this is our uh, sizing die for sizing uh, the brass. This is actually a bushing bushing die, so you can put a different size bushing in there, and it's a full length full length sizing die, so it, it will actually size everything you want this thing to size. the The bullet seater is a micrometer style. And it has this uh, little plunger, basically, that uh, will sit on the tips of your bullets and push the bullet down in the case while the case is being held straight inside the die. It has a little base. It's got a hole in there so you don't accidentally set off a primer. But we're not going to be... Uh, using any primers or powders today. The kit also comes with a, um, a case gauge so you can see if your cases are properly properly sized which is kind of nice. But uh, for today's purpose we're going to uh, run a little uh, dummy round through this so I can show you guys what this thing is doing. So this is a brand new piece of Lapua brass for that 6.5 Creedmoor and basically just set it on there, take your, your bullet and these are the 144 grain burgers and you slide your die set over them, get it on your center and this has the, the force pack obviously. And we've got our uh, little dial on there so we can see how much force it actually takes to, to seat that bullet. Once again, brand new brass, brand new bullet. Let's see what it does. There's uh, 50, 80, 100, 50. Uh, that went around pretty good. Definitely didn't like that a whole lot. And that bullet still isn't seated. But you can see how much force it actually took to try to get that thing in there. Alright, now we've got our little uh, expander mandrel in, the, in, our, in our tool there for the 6.5 millimeter. And we're going to take a brand new piece of Lapua brass and we're going to expand that neck out the size of that mandrel and I just kind of run it a few times you want to be careful not to 
set this thing down too far, you don't want to run your brass in the top of that thing and mess up mess up the mouth of your brass. So we'll take that. We'll take one of our brand new burger bullets and we'll set it under there and we'll seat it down this time. And there she went. Still a little tight, but a lot you can see it's a lot looser, a lot better than what it was. And that's for the 6.5 Creedmoor. Now for an example, this is the expander mandrel for a 6mm. And I'm going to show you one of my 243 cases, which is also using burger bullets and Lapua brass. And this has just basically been sized back down like normal. Run the expander through it. Set it on there and I've got the Wilson die set for a 243, which I already have set. So we'll put that there and we'll use one of our six millimeter burger bullets and set that on there. And run that one through our little press. 20, I can feel it going down already. 30, boom, it's set. And I didn't even hit 35, 35 pounds. So there's a, uh, there's a pretty good difference on working your necks properly to get a lighter tension. And I'm all about that lighter tension. So obviously with this... Uh, this little short handle on it, there's a little bit of a difference on uh, leverage. When you're using your standard press, you've got this nice big long arm on there with a lot of mechanical advantage to it. And so it's, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell exactly how much tension you actually have on these things. But with something like this little K&M tool, it's rather obvious. So we're going to use this thing more often um, another reason I've got it it's easy to change change the seating depth on these things uh, if you want to you know load up a bunch of ammo you can leave it long you can go out to the range seat it where you want it because this will go anywhere you can put this put this on the bench out there whether you're in the back of your truck or something seat it down try try some different seating depths maybe change it a little more seat a few more but if you've got the ammo loaded up already, but just load it long, you have the capability of making adjustments pretty much on the fly. Well, hopefully uh, everybody got something something out of that little video explanation on these new setups. Now I'm going to pull all these bullets out that I stuck in there for our demo. Here's that uh, six millimeter. Right out it came, nice and easy. If uh, you're ever kind of curious about your neck tension why don't you try pulling some bullets whether you've got a, a mandrel bullet puller like this or if you use a little kinetic hammer try pulling some of these things sometime and see how see how well they came out I've actually uh, had some dealings with uh, factory match ammo that uh, I couldn't get to shoot right so I said well heck I'm gonna pull the bullets out and use them in something else and that's when I realized why I couldn't get them to shoot right because there was so much of an inconsistency on, on the tension of those bullets just trying to get them out. Some of them were so tight I actually destroyed the bullets trying to get them out so I just stopped trying. But uh, that neck tension in, in my opinion has uh, got quite a, quite a lot to do with, uh, with our accuracy that we're looking for. So um, as I've said I'm trying to pay more attention to our tension. But uh, hopefully everybody got something out of this video, like I said. So uh, we'll continue on with uh, with our little project. I'm going to load up uh, 
load up some break-in rounds for our uh, uh, Bagheera for the 6.5. And I usually load these, load these light. Uh, I don't use our good primers up uh, for those loads. Um, you know, just run off the bottom side of that powder load. I just basically want to get some some rounds down the barrel, so I don't need to get extreme in anything. So uh, we'll get that thing broke in. Uh, hopefully, I can get to get a scope put on that thing pretty soon, and uh, we'll catch you next time. <laughs>